Welcome to the latest news on the Buzz UG and if you enjoy what I do right here just tap on the like button and also don't forget to subscribe and tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melads Milo aka Fuller. Now before we go any further that video is trending so big time on different social media platforms. According to reports, that guy put down is a UPDF officer and uh, he wanted to shoot the traffic officers on the road. You know, we all know how some of these so-called big people in government misbehave on the road. So this time around, the UPDF officer found these traffic officers on standby and they disarmed him. He was later arrested and taken to the nearby police station. We are yet to receive a statement from Uganda police or even UPDF. However, according to comments on social media, Ugandans are very happy that this time around, these traffic officers did a great job of disarming and arresting this guy. Now, in other news, a minister in President Museveni's government has revealed that NUP President, His Excellency Robert Chagulanyi Sentamu, will soon follow DP President Nobat Mao to the ruling government National Resistance Movement. According to Evelyn Anite, the State Minister of Privatization and Investment, Bobby Wine will be the next opposition politician to cross over to the NRM. Evelyn Anite congratulated Nobat Mao and predicted that Bobby Wine is the next opposition leader who will sign a cooperation agreement with President Museveni. Now, in her own words, she said, Congratulations, Nobat, upon entering the NRM High Command Bus. Robert K. will be picked in the next NRM bus terminus. There you go. That is uh, Honorable Evelyn Anite, the State Minister of Privatization and Investment. I don't know what you think about this story, but in case you have anything on your mind, just put it down in the comment section. Now, in other news, Nobat Mao, the president and chairman of the Democratic Party, has said that he will not resign as DP's president despite the calls by some leaders in his own party that he should resign if he wants to take up a job as minister in President Museveni's government. Uh, Nobat Mao has already been vetted by the Parliament's Appointment Committee and he awaits to be sworn in as the Minister of Justice and Constitutional Affairs before he can officially begin executing his duties. Now, speaking at Parliament, Boyikwe South Member of Parliament, Horebo Lulume Baiga, expressed disappointment that instead of working to remove the Museveni government, Chairman Mao has been doing his best to be appointed to Cabinet. The Constitution of DP and the Cooperation Agreement are not mutually exclusive. I signed it as the president of the Democratic Party and I'll continue discharging my duty as the president of the Democratic Party. I've heard voices calling for, for me to step aside. I think the reason is not the cooperation of agreement. The reason would have been, for instance, if members said you will be too busy. I think that one I would listen to it because it would be reasonable. But the venomous outbursts that I, I, I had definitely shows that many of our members have not yet internalized the implications of this cooperation agreement. It is important that DP has a leadership which is committed to those issues. This is not the first time we have signed agreements. When something is good, you support it. That's if you have good will. But if you have ill will, even the best things are bad for you. And uh, many of the people expressing their objections, I want to assure them they're entitled to their opinions. And there will continue to be that kind of freedom for members to speak up and criticize the leadership. And the leadership is committed to being accountable. But I, as I notice, the media is more interested in the clash between Nobat Mao and a, a few people. But nobody has a veto on what the Democratic Party decides through its organs. There you go. That is Honorable Minister Nobat Mao speaking.
Meanwhile, uh, leaders across the Acholi subregion have welcomed the appointment of Democratic Party President Jeno Nobat Mao as the Minister of Justice and Constitutional Affairs. <laughs> Well, in other news, and this is coming in from the entertainment industry, Azawi from Swangs Avenue shut down Lugogo Cricket Oval on Friday. Uh, fans flooded the place to support their diva. You know, being her first concert, Azawi did exceptionally well. Also, being under recognized label, uh, you know, it also added something to the success of the day. Azawi has a very good voice, and also her energy while performing for me were the highlights of the day. Azawi also paid tribute to Mose Radio when she performed the Nyumbani song with uh, Viboyo on stage and uh, that was in honor of uh, legendary Mose Radio. Uh, meanwhile, some people had started thinking that uh, the concert would flop because of the charges and uh, the economy right now. As you all know, things are not easy at the moment. So some people thought that uh, the concert would flop. However, you know, the fans showed up in big numbers and Azawi plus Swangs Avenue are very, are very grateful for the support that you showed them on Friday. There you go. That is it from uh, Swangs Avenue. And uh, those are some of the big stories that I have for you this morning on the Buzz UG. In case you enjoy what I do right here, just tap on the like button. And also don't forget to subscribe in case you haven't. And also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melads Milo, a.k.a. Fuller. Thank you. Hey.